Jim Tron. Game Reviews. Finally, a bit overdue, but here's a review for a Call of Duty Black Ops. Humiliation. Looks like you shouldn't cut too many days of Bible study, cause I fooled you again. This time's review is gonna be for the cult classic, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Donkey Kong Country Returns, or Mumsy as I like to call it, is a game where they got bored of making Metroid Prime and asked Nintendo if they could ruin another series. Honestly though, my first thought is that it was just the same thing. They didn't even change much. You got Diddy and Dixie and Kitty and Kitty and Kitty. And you just go all around the place and jump everywhere. It's not too much to it. Nothing I haven't seen on public access before. Oh, it's going down to what? What do you mean I'm playing a wrong game? Donkey Kong and Country Returns brings back that high octane action that you're used to seeing from Gran Turismo. Spans a whole bunch of worlds and looks retardedly similar to the new Super Mario Bros. Your objective is to get to the end of each stage while collecting all the puzzle pieces and Kong letters. But don't forget any or Nana will get mad. No! Please, Nan, I didn't mean it! King K. Rule and all his minions may be gone, but don't you worry your black little heart, because Retro Studios designed a particularly more compelling villain. A plank of fucking wood. You'll be jumping on birds, jumping on birds, jumping on birds. Honestly, let's be honest here, Retro Studios deserves a fair helping of praise, because they realize what most people don't in this day and age in the video gaming industry. Buttons don't work. Why push a button when you can shake a stick? Everyone knows the buttons are sloppy, imprecise, and hard to push. Shaking a stick, on the other hand, can be pinpointed to a fraction of a second. Valerie Valera, the gaming crash of 1983 has been saved. Thank God for motion control. Shaking a stick is way better than pushing a button. In fact, it's so much better they just should have removed the option to use a button at all! Oh, glibbity glubber gloobenstein, they did. Good God, Retro Studios, where would we be as a civilization without you. You'll be seeing a slew of familiar characters that you once remembered as characters, such as this pig. And don't forget to play the boss levels, because they are sure to be a delight, ranging from hard to harder to batshit crazy. Yet and I made a joke! Don't worry though, Nintendo realized the games were too difficult and made it so God beats the level for you if you want. So if you're gay and shit, go ahead and use it. Let's have a self-intervention and be true to our souls for a minute. Donkey Kong Country Returns, despite its one really fucking retarded flaw, is probably like the best game for the Wii and like ever. If you have an Ingrundos, pick it from the garden. Because Donkey Kong Country Returns gets six golden bananas plus out of Shigeru Miyamoto. 